Hi, I'm Terry Munsell of the Munsell Group with Compass in the Desert. My friends and clients know that I love mid-century architecture and furniture, and I'm lucky to live and sell in this valley that has so much history here. Every time I go to the Eisenhower Medical Center, I'm amazed at the beauty and the grandeur and the mid-century lines that exist in that lobby and all the buildings. It's a landmark in the center of our desert. This slide, check this out, shows the recently uh, renovated lobby, and the next one shows the lobby from many years ago. I remember it, not from the very beginning, but more recently. I've been here since 98. But I've always wondered, how did a hospital as well regarded as Eisenhower even get started in the middle of our desert back in the 60s and the 70s? Well, back in the 60s, the Coachella Valley's uh, year-round population was under 54,000 people. But, of course, the population swelled like it does now during high season. But then it was really movie stars and presidents. It was plagued around to the stars and the rich and famous for years. Well, Florence Swanson, who was the wife of uh, uh, W. Clark Swanson of Swanson Foods, her husband died suddenly in 1961 from a heart attack on the links uh, at Thunderbird Country Club. And, you know, this, this is the home to Lucy and Desi, Ginger Rogers, Hoagie Carmichael, and so many more. Well, anyway, there was no time to get Mr. Swanson to Palm Springs, where the only hospital was 11 miles away, and he passed away. And Florence was always sad because she thought a hospital nearby could have helped save her husband. So over the next decade, friends, led by Dolores and uh, Bob Hope, created a, a philanthropy to raise the money to create the Eisenhower Medical Center that we have now. The Hopes donated the original 80 acres of land to build the hospital. Look at this picture. And then former Dwight D. Eisenhower, who had been golfing with Clark at the time of his death, and his wife Mamie agreed to lend their name to the hospital project, and the fundraising began. Here is Bob Hope and Eisenhower at La Quinta Country Club in 67. Next is a picture of the groundbreaking of Eisenhower Hospital. Uh, and you can see Bob Hope showing off his swing with the then governor, Ronald Reagan and Dolores Hope. Oh, and there's the late, um, president's brother, Edgar Eisenhower. Construction began and then the new hospital was up in a few years. The Eisenhower Medical Center is now on 130 acres and has transformed into a teaching hospital with four centers of excellence, cancer, cardiology, orthopedics, and neuroscience. You can see on this slide all the many donors that have made this possible. As Eisenhower Hospital grew, so did the donor base. And uh, it needs to find more and more people, of course, and more and more people have turned Eisenhower into its primary medical world, having uh, loving the fact that it's got so many uh, great doctors and facilities, one of those being the gorgeous private suites at the Rinker Pavilion and the personal care afforded there. Uh, I enjoy going to Eisenhower just to see the great people on all the walls. Uh, this week I had to go to a routine test and I was greeted by these great ladies in the hallway. Here's Florence Swanson, Dolores Hope, and of course our great Betty Ford. Eisenhower is a not-for-profit organization and it um, recognizes its donors in many ways. Its future is based on creating ways for people to donate. For people that can donate funds or property, they have this program that's called the 24-7 program that people love. Uh, for those making gifts of 250000 or more in many different ways, this unique program is Eisenhower's way to say thank you. The 24-7 members have access to these medical staff 24-7 um, by phone, around the clock, seven days a week to answer questions and to assist them. They have access into the Rinker Center. They get help getting into emergency um, uh, department, etc. As I've said, I know that the many second home people have made this their main medical center because of this program and all the great doctors. Also, many times I work with sellers who have inherited a home that's, you know, not been used for many seasons and is filled with old furnishings. I created this program called the Less Stress Selling. It makes it possible for you to call me and give me the keys and we coordinate all the details to get your home ready to sell. But the sellers don't have to come out. And many of these people might actually take advantage of these tax advantages from property donation to Eisenhower. With that, Eisenhower also has something called Life Simplification Program, and it allows people to gift the property, providing the donor with the right to remain in the property for their lifetime, but giving future interest to uh, Eisenhower creates this uh, tax advantages now.
There are many ways to plan your estate and take advantage of these programs. And next week, I'm going to meet with Christian, who is the Eisenhower's Vice President of Major Gifts and Planning, and he'll explain more. There's a lot of different ways that you can um, get involved. We're lucky to have Eisenhower Medical Center in our valley. Stay cool.